Well, hello. Hey, folks. Today we're going to take a little look at a uh, voice recorder to record conversations on the telephone. This is a TR600 recorder. Uh, comes in a little box. You've got the recorder part. Back opens up. Got to put some batteries in that. I didn't do that. Does not come with batteries, so you'll have to provide three AAA batteries. I'll put those in there. That case on. The batteries are basically to back up the voice to make sure that you don't lose anything if the power goes out. Highly recommend those. So there we go. Um, then it has a little menu on the front here. Please set the clock. We'll go ahead and do that. Let's see if I can get in here and zoom. So uh, we will hit settings. Now we're down to system. Time. Oops. Now we're down to system. Enter. Enter. The time today is, it is 11.23. Okay, so that is the setup. Now, next, it's very important, it does come with a little uh, bitty charger. It needs to be plugged in. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So that it has power. It will run off the batteries for a while, but it will go dead pretty quickly. So that is how you basically get started with this little guy. Um, now, to hook it up the phone, we're just going to use these two jacks on the side, the handset and the phone. And I'll take my phone here. I'll take the basically handset cord off of that. And we'll put it in the symbol that says telephone right there. And then I will take, they supply you with a little little uh, RJ4 cord here. Is this the one? Yeah. And I will plug... Oh, here it is. This is the one. So they they, uh, they supply you with two. One is actually if you're plug plugging it into the telephone itself before the phone, if you have an analog phone, but this is for just using any Cisco phone or any other phone. And then they have the little RJ4 here. So we'll use that. Plug that into the phone. Plug this into here. And then we are ready to go. And so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll call myself um, to record on this. You just hit the little record button here. And now we are recording. Level one, two, three. Level one, two, three. Stop. There we go. Let's stop recording. Play it back. And back we go. And let's go into the log. I have one recording. I'll arrow down to that. And now I am recording this conversation with you, David, and it's hearing me. So I'll go ahead and call myself. And hello. hello. And now I'll record. So now I believe I'm recording this conversation. And now I'm talking to the phone, so you should hear that. And now I'm back to this side of the conversation. And hello, we're talking on the phone. And I hang up. And I will hang up. And stop recording. Stop. There it is. It's kind of like a VCR. Record, stop, pause, play. So now Kind of an echo there, so that's pretty cool. That is it. So we'll just hit back, back, and we've recorded that. Now, um, if we want to uh, place it on our computer, what we're going to do is we are going to take this other USB cord that they supplied, okay, and we're going to plug that in and plug this into the computer. There's a little jack in the back for a USB connection. Plug it into the computer, and we will copy the device. Once it says USB plugged in, it will not record. I don't think you... No. So when you're copying files off this device onto your computer to email to somebody, um, uh, you won't be able to record at that time. So you only plug this cord in, the USB cord is when you want, want to copy the files. And I'm going to switch to the, uh, to the computer so you can see how it is that I copy the files. All right, so now we're going to plug our record gear. TR 850 into the computer. I should recognize it. So it is just popped up as USB drive D. We'll go ahead and open that up. 
may have the file with the day's date. Let's click in there. We have this one wave file. I'm going to cut that. You can copy it and leave it on the drive, but it'll fill up eventually. I'm going to put that into my downloads. I have a few things here right now. We'll paste that and we'll just say, we'll call it, I'll just rename it right now. I'll leave the date with it. Randy's test two. <clears throat> and uh, in Windows 10 and Explorer, I have the view preview pane on, so I get a little preview of this. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. All right, I'm recording now. And there you have your WAV file. I can hear the music in the background. I left my phone in the other room with the radio playing. And that is how you uh, pull files off the little recording gear.